Hey guys, we're back with the last episode of Life is Strange before the storm. It's called Hell is Empty. Not the start. I love the little birds and little like drawings that they add into the game. Makes it like really nice. The on Life is Strange before. Alright, they got in trouble at the school. It's been a while since I've played this game. So it'll be interesting like to remember all this stuff that happened. I remember she fixed the truck. We have to be getting close to like the end of the story. Mm -hmm. I forgot he got beat up, and we I think we stole the money, sadly. Oh, and the play, and the fire. And uh, the music is off because, like, um, they always, like, copyright it, and it, like, mutes it anyways. And it, like... Uh, it's just not good for the channel, but at least we're getting to see what we saw previously, which is or what we did previously. And then we went to her house. She smashed it through the table. It's angry. After this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your yeah, we know her name. Birth mother. <laughs> what? What? Your birth mother. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. Uh, you can handle this or say I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. I don't want to make her feel alone. Oh. Right now. Look. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind. For so long. Courtship. Let's look at the courtship. She was so alive. So passionate about everything. They're so cute together. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. 
It looks happy. I don't understand. Like while the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Parenthood. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Looks Becoming like your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. It looks like he could be a doctor. Do we know what he does? I don't remember. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, she doing? the need to escape was always there. Ma'am, your baby is crying. Get up off the floor. Get up off the floor. Go take care of your... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know much about drugs, but don't you need like no a rubber band or something happened. around your arm or belt or something? Like, it's not how that works. She would never. If you know, please let me know in the comments. You. Like, but isn't this called killer? I don't know. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Baby. A destructive. No, 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 person. leave her. Call 911. Get the baby. Someone who could never be satisfied. Sir. By anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you. Again. Oh. Uh. Union. Rush that one. Okay, so I think we're at the reunion now. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true. We kissed. You would aim for that kiss. How are you gonna say it's the saddest sad? kiss of my life? It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, Sad. to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money every single month. What? It's our arrangement. Ain't supposed to be all the way around. But now that... she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Hmm. Let's go with why not. It's more like 
passive than aggressive, whereas like D, who says it's your decision is more aggressive and that's Why not business. If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized. So she's by already her been disease victimized. Again. Okay, 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 okay. Even so. if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for fifteen years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel. That's kind of fucked up that he just said I that. I think I need to lie down. We got a group SMS. I... Dana, Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. Juliet. More... Alright, we'll let them message and then I'll read them. Okay, hurry up! All right, from Dana, Dana, Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party from Juliet. I already texted Rachel like eight times. We replied, hey, I don't think we're making it. Dana, Chloe, you should come. Less than three, less than three. From Hayden, yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. From Brooke, hey, Chloe, great job tonight. From us, thanks, I can't, but you totally saved us from Dana. Dana. Juliet, without you, there would have been no show. Dana, seriously, just come. Hayden, bring Rachel. Chloe, sorry guys. It's, nope. Alright. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Alright. Go upstairs. Or Rachel. God, that would suck. You know. Oh. She into dose? Is that why we keep seeing the dough? The previous, like, season? Well, that's a really cool globe. Uh, Rachel? Life is strange before the storm. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. Here we go. Rachel. Rachel. Should we I look around? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Objective. Oh. Here for Rachel. Emergency kit. Why she got a big emergency kit in her room? Bag. We were so close to making our break last night. Now. Hold on one second, guys. We need to. Down. I don't know. Better. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Biology chart? Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion, Lion Crab. Crab from now on. And this on. This light needs more light.
Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. That lamp does not look very cool. I'm sorry. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Oh, okay, so it's not like a globe, it's the astrology signs and stuff like that. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Oh, save the flowers. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I always find it creepy that like we just go through I people's get stuff. Like this. I just don't want to. Straight A's. <laughs> Perfect attendance. Yep, sure you could. Oh, can we close it? Oh. oh, we'll grab the flashlight. Just stick that in her back pocket. Girl, where did you put that flashlight? Oh, we got a new message from mom. Okay. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Chloe. Mom, I can't right now. Mom replied, please. Flashlight. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Stars. Give her the stars. Should we turn off the lamp? It'll look better. There you go. Hey, check it out. Ooh, it's pretty. beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. Oh, ma'am, just because they're dead, exactly. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? Yeah, they real. It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. 
And that other woman? My real mom? She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I so. think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Maybe dot dot dot. <laughs> I'm honored. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. Um. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. How are they rotating? That my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. Five. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? I don't think so. I would want to see my parent if that, if I was in her situation. Would you guys? Of course not. But it it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Dun 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 dun. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I've got this or I've got an idea. They're like the same thing. I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I can handle that. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. <laughs> I know you will. You go fix that truck. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? Oh no, you no girl. After my dad died. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak. In my dreams, he's there, and it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? Exactly, they still as beautiful. As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. There has to be thing like something like that in real life. Like, 
that makes like a galaxy up on your ceiling. Like there has to be lights that do that, right? I've never seen one. I've had the, like the the little sticky stars that you can put on your ceiling, and then like during the day they like charge up, and at night they like glow like a like a yellowish green color. What the heck? Oh no! The heck? Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. My memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? No, I don't. But here it is. Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Age. Sound and fury. One with A. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Why this episode right. start off so dark Just like this? Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh my... What is wrong? Why is it so- <laughs> Oh my god. This episode is so dark. Like- Boo! Oh, bitch, the fuck? I don't like Victoria. Mm. 
Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Or I'm gonna go first. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? That's my question. Chill, I've got it. Let's go with the chill approach. Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm helping a friend or it would mean a lot to me. I don't think Frank, Frank cares if it would mean much to her. Let's go with I'm helping a friend. But maybe he does. Crap. Uh, let's go with I'm helping a friend. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Uh, five nine, five nine, nine five nine, five nine, five nine. Let's see. Okay, right here. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better, Chloe. Guess what, Rachel? Hmm. You already missed me, Chloe. Okay, what? Also, we're meeting. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah, Rachel. Holy shit. Chloe, yep, I'm still at my house, just showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So meet me at the junkyard? Rachel, I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Right here it says we need to shower, then grab tools. So let's go take a shower and then... Do we need laundry? Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Oh. Okay. Let's check it. That Is until I already left. Mom playing music? Huh. Nope. Cause I got that shit muted. Okay, Victoria. here so this is from victoria so i was right all along rachel ember is a fucking evil bitch chloe replied oh yeah she totally is victoria i guess you think you're her little sidekick now chloe replied yep victoria replied i've had it with this school nobody gave a shit about me last night it was all rachel 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 chloe replied oh man when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass that's just the worst. Victoria, fuck you, Chloe. Uh, oh my god. Alright, uh, the bathroom is here. What is this? Oh, a kitty bay picture. See, like, this little art thing right here, like, it just adds detail and makes the home, like, more homey. Fuck.
all the duffel bags. We like our receipts. Oh, wait. Mom actually sold her ring? Oh. For three hundred dollars. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably lots of washcloths, no towel. Oh. Score. <laughs> Can't believe Max and I were so into the shit and we were and, like pirate stuff in there. Wait a minute, Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Oh. Got the toe. Ready for the best shower of my life. Shut me shut the door. Hot water. Don't let me down. Stuff we got in here. That's your bathroom. I need to see the shower. You don't got no mat to step out on? She put blue in. Oh, she did. Alright, pirate. Alright, <laughs> All right, what's next? I need new clothes. That's like skirts. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? What the heck? Skull, the dragon, outfits. What do we got? Chloe's classic pre order. Let's go with the classic. Yeah, there we go. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Take this pirate hat. Thing. All right. Well, look at his Dad's jacket. favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Uh, all right, downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? It's sad because like her Joyce is so good. Like avoiding her. <laughs> oh my god. Have you guys ever done this as kids? Like, <laughs> I'm flipping them the over. Stairs. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. 
I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Alright. You go get in the garage. Hey, who's there? Feet. Hey. Oh, you. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. <laughs> you sure must have your feet when you guys sneak glad around. You came home, Chloe. I ain't staying. Oh, <laughs> I just I have to go with D because that's what I was thinking. I'm I'm not staying long. Just <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about it. Hang out with Rachel. It's Joyce. I always feel bad being rude to Joyce. So we have to... We're going with A. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. kind of people eat one pancake? Oh, there's multiple. Okay. Chloe. I... Uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe. I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. That's it, or apology accepted. Okay. Be nice. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Oh, no. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. But I need to get some tools. I've been... And go fix a truck. Meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. This... Is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... Killed. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. Lovers? So I David, guess what I'm saying is... By. I'm here to do what 
whatever I can to help you get over the loss Lover of your died, dad. And now he's using it to connect with Chloe. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Why would we keep the... I don't want his picture, I don't want the responsibility. What if it gets ruined? I'm going to the junkyard, dude, to work on a truck. No, I don't want that shit. The last person I would ever talk to about my dad is you, Chloe. What? She took the- Think I... it over for more than a, a minute. It's a basic courtesy, you know? I just don't want to take your when picture. people offer to help. You're out of your fucking mind. You disrespectful little shit. You just made a serious hey, mistake. Both of you. You don't scare me, asshole. I just don't want to take the picture. God. What the hell? Gun save life. Gun stop crime. Just gotta grab dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Maybe. Alright, hopefully we're at the graveyard now. <laughs> the graveyard. The junkyard. Yeah. Yeah. The number for the train is 1337. I don't know if anyone's caught that. With me here. Did you drop it? Damn it. Ooh. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Cap check. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Check. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. We can scrape the gunk off of it with the screwdriver. Oh. My bad, I hit the wrong button, y'all. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Here we go. That should help keep shit distributed. 
Well, fuck. Ouch. Go back from whence you came. Oh, we're getting messages. <sighs> Care about these ones. Well, you heard that air quality health advisory. A Cardi Bay Force Watch, a Cardi Bay Oregon, 0745 AM, Pacific Standard Time, Sunday, May 9, 2010. Culmination State Park fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Well, we ain't limiting anything. All right, let's check the battery. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. I would it. need the pliers. Fix that. Fix it. Fix it real good. <laughs> There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Is there nothing holding that battery down? It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Wrench? Much better. All right, fuel filter check. This thing is going to the fuck up. Bro, watch your mouth. Don't get me in trouble with the YouTube. Maybe. <gasps> oh. Sick. That was nasty. Nasty. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Hey. Get some. Please, I need you. Oh, holy shit, we did it! Holy crap. Yeah! Slow down, what the hell? She's happy. Hey, junkyard queen. Where are you at? 
Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... It's just her feather. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. I know, right? We done fix it all up. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Here. It's right here. Obviously, I was gonna give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. What's this guy getting all angry about? You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. She doesn't talk to you. Oh. Don't fucking touch her. That is weak. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Pussy, pussy. Frank Look, says mom. you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay. Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Friend, why do you care so much? Not your business. Friend. I, she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family, or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. Did you what see his laugh? What the fuck is your Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. Who cares, we know. Who cares? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. 
They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch! Rachel! Damon! What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! What the fuck? Hold on! Shit! 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 Chloe... Hey! Just... Hold on, okay? Rachel? No, no, no! No, I'm not losing you! God. Why don't they just tell him the truth? Before they even knew her name, like, just be like, it's my mom or something. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like this is way too much drama. Find this woman. And now Rachel is cut. All the firefighters for the fire. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery. And now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Oh, what do we do here?